Okay, so there I was on the YouTubes watching my nerdy math videos and I saw this video by not David. It's titled, Math Doesn't Have to Be Boring. The Pokemon type blah blah blah. That's a really, uh, really uh, long complicated title. In this video, he talks about Pokemon types, how they relate to each other. So he talks about how you can have each type as a node or, you know, a point, data point, And say you have water type and uh, water type points to all the other types that it's strong against. So water type points to ground, points to rock, points to fire. And so you do that with all of them. So you end up with, you know, electric pointing to water, grass pointing to water. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, water has like three outgoing and two incoming. And you do that with all of them and you can do cool stuff. Like you could say, oh, let's see, you know, let's follow a line and uh, let's go through all, all the pointers and let's see which ones go in a triangle. So you have like the type starters, water, fire, grass, you know, and you have, not David did this to find out like a bunch of other triads. Let I me, mean, I can just think of one, fighting, dark, psychic, right? So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And I asked him a question. Um, I was like, hey, can you do this and account for, uh, for resistances, you know? Maybe you get, like, do some more complicated stuff. And uh, I was like, uh, this question is stupid. Right after I typed it, I was like, duh, you know, you're accounting for this. I don't, know. I don't know what I was thinking. So, so I deleted it. But not David somehow. And in, in the 30 seconds that the, the question was up, he responded to it. And he basically, he, he told me something. He said, yeah, yeah, instead of, uh, instead of having them point to what they're strong against, just make them point to everything and then set a value to them. So like, you know, water is pointing to normal type as well but it just has a value of one. When it points to grass, it has a value of 0.5 because it's resistant, does half damage. And when it points to ground, it has a value of two. Electric, when pointing to ground, would have a value of zero. So you could do a model like that and then just do it with all the types, but I guess not David didn't do it, so I did it. <laughs> That's what this is about. Okay, so. I did this to start with, with single types. Pokemon has two types. Let's start it off easy, shall we? With single types, you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, this is tier list I made. To no one's surprise, steel is at the top. Okay, so how, how, did, I, how did I decide how high every, every value was? I added up, like say, new, normal, you know, points to all the types. There's like 18 types or something. Let me see. There's 18 types. So normal. It points to 18 of them because it also points to itself. Normal is neutral to everything, doesn't affect ghosts, resisted by rock and steel. It would be plus 15 because it's neutral to everything, plus zero, which is ghosts, and then rock and steel would be one and one. So 15 plus, plus a half, plus a half is 16. So it, that the offensive output for normal would be 16. But what about defensively? Well, it takes everything neutral, doesn't get affected by ghosts, it takes double by fighting. So everything would be a one, so that's like 16, and then zero from ghosts, and then two from fighting, so 18 total. So here you have 16 offensive value, uh, 18 defensive value, and I just subtract them, offensive minus defensive, because when you think about it, you want to have lower defensive value that means that the type is good you know because it resists a lot of stuff or is immune to a lot of stuff whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, so yeah you want the defensive value to be low and the offensive value to be high because that means it's super effective against a lot of stuff so when you subtract those you can kind of get a compound value and i can rank the types so that's what i did and that's why normal is here in c uh, because it is, is it's like a, at a minus one, right? It's like, what was it, 16 minus 18 or whatever? Minus two. I think no, Steel was, was at something like a five and then the A's were like at a three or something like that, I forget. But when you do it like this, these are kind of the, the tiers that you end up with. And uh, let me see, let me just compare them to Wolfie VDC. You know, Wolfie is a professional Pokemon player, or so he says, he has some titles or something he's won some tournaments uh he's a, he's a lot more a lot more credible than me uh let's just say that so he uh made this and he put steel next to fairy and water at the top which practically speaking makes sense because uh, those are the kind of like what you see you see a lot of strong fairies steels and waters wolfie puts these at the top so let, let's let's see how right he is mathematically 
maybe he would agree that steel is a little bit better. I mean, this, this tier list I made have water and fairy. Just the tier below it, the most surprising thing here is that bug for him is the lowest. And here, mathematically, grass is actually the lowest. And if you look at the, at the spread for grass, you know, what it's strong against, what it's weak against, it makes a lot of sense. Grass is an absolute, it's just so much worse than everything else. It is just grass types. You see a lot of grass types and you, you consider grass type as a good type because it gets some of the strongest moves in the game. You know, it gets grassy glide, leech seed, you guys say more, even we could talk about solar beam. Um, I don't know, it also resists ground. Oh yeah, so Wolfie did make uh, a couple of videos talking about how he would buff bug and how he would buff ice. And um, you know, maybe we should take some notes from grass. You know, if you want to make a type strong, grass is kind of crazy. For how shit it is as a type, it's kind of insane how well the grass types do. So, as I said before, Pokemon has two types. So, what happens if instead of just having normal water electric, I have normal flying, normal water, normal electric, blah, 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 for all, every type combination, of which there are <laughs> 171, 171 type combinations. So, what happens if you just uh, take every single dual type and do the same kind of analysis. Say you have a fire water and it points to grass. So fire is one of the two types. So it's gonna be a value of two. So we, we take the strongest type because if you're up against a grass type, you're gonna hit them with the, with the strongest move, right? And you're gonna, have, you're gonna want a fire water type against a grass type because you can hurt them. And then of course them incoming is a one because that's how damage calculation works. The super effective and the not very effective cancel out, so uh, fire water would take neutral damage against a grass type move. We do this kind of analysis and it gets kind of crazy to, when you try to draw it. What do we in, uh, end up with here? Oh, look at this. Number one, ground rock. Uh, when you look at Gen 1, it's full of ground rocks running all over the, pre all over the place and um, they're all very slow and they're not that good. Although in Gen 1, I think Gollum is actually good. So there you have it. In VGC, you did see superior... Uh, you did see Rhyperior, not Superior, and Trick Room teams. Uh, I think you saw it in Sword and Shield with Weakness Policy. It was really, really strong. Uh, so there you have it, you know. Now you know why it's so strong. Even though it's quad weak to grass and water, you know, it's still, people still use it because offensively it's so strong. And you're gonna see all the, all the single types at the bottom here. Normal, of course, the worst. Poison after that, then grass. Bug, Electric is, is pretty neutral against most stuff. Strong against like flying and water, that's it. Let's see, dragon is, is only strong against itself. Psychic, ghost up here. Equal to dark, ghost equal to dark. Under, steel and ice. Biting a little higher than that. And I believe ground is even higher than that. Oh, fairy, look at that. Water, better than fighting. A little bit surprising to me. I guess it makes sense, right? Strong against rock, ground, fire. And then fighting is strong against normal, rock, dark. It's probably because uh, ghost is immune to fighting. Rock is higher than fire even. Not a big surprise. Rock is very good offensively. Is that it's not resisted by very much. So where is ground? Ground all the way up here, 226. Right under that is rock with 216s. It's no surprise that ground rock is the highest type. And it just so happens that, you know, rock hits what ground doesn't hit, like with flying and stuff. So defensive types. Dun, 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 dun. Number one, Fairy Steel, everyone's favorite from uh, Sword and Shield, VGC, and Sword and Shield, Ubers, and Sword and Shield, everything. Also from uh, Mega Mawile. Funny enough, Mega Mawile and Zashin are, are very strong offensively, but here you have it, very strong defensive type. And if you look at the spread on Serebii, type chart is, uh, <laughs> you can kind of see why. It, it just resists a lot of stuff. It's not quad weak to anything. Dragon Steel. Uh, steel and dragon mesh w very well with each other. Dragon resists the things that steel doesn't. Same thing with steel. It, it leaves them with just fighting and ground weakness, dual weakness, and then it resists like freaking everything. Flying steel, you had uh, Skarmory. <laughs> hey baby, I have a little kitty here. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> Flying steel is, uh, of course, Skarmory was, was the king of stall for many, many years, <laughs> many generations, I think three through infinity. Uh, so yeah, uh, it just so happens too, you know, you could argue Flying Steel is actually better than Fairy Steel. 
if you want a defensive Pokemon because ground and fighting are so common. And you're probably right. It's just that this, you know, this calculation here doesn't account what's popular. It's just like naive. It's just a pure math of, of what it is. And Fairy Steel does resist more stuff if you look at absolutely every dual type attacking combination. Ghost Normal, I think it was in Wolfie's top 10 dual type list. He's probably right if you just run it defensively, but Ghost Normal offensively is like freaking number 200. And 148 out of 172 is pretty bad. Dark Ghost, also very bad, even worse than Ghost Normal offensively, but defensively, very good. Kind of funny how that works out. Dark Ghost also did not have any weaknesses for the longest time until Fairy was added. A lot of people are noticing now, now that Terra Terrastalize is in the game, that single types are pretty good defensively. Uh, who would have thunk it? I guess it just works out that way that um, the spread is usually more towards neutral hits than weaknesses. So like if, if you think about it, when you have a dual type, it's more likely that you'll be weak to something than to resist something. Just generally speaking, I, except for these really defensive types like Steel. You'll, you'll notice Steel is, has number, like top three defensive dual types have Steel in it. Dark's also up there and goes too. Uh, electric, funny enough, is at number seven. Normal number nine and steel number 10. And this might blow some people's minds, but it's just how, how it works out that when you have two attacking types, you're much more likely to have a type that weakens steel. Electric only has one weakness. Normal only has one weakness. Electric has more resistances than normal. I think I resist steel and electric. Normal only immune to ghost. Okay, so moving down. Poison, also pretty high. Ghost, also pretty high. Fairy, surprisingly pretty high. Dragon, uh, I think people would expect it to be higher, but Dragon only has three resistances. I don't know. It used to be that Dragon was king, but uh, ever since they added Fairy, it, it looks a lot worse. You know, adding a weakness, it used to be two weaknesses, three resistances, now it's three and three. So it's pretty evened out. Fire, pretty bad. We're getting to the bad defensive types. Flying, it's weak to a lot of stuff but very strong offensively. Ground, lower than flying, a little bit surprising to me, but that's because flying is, is immune to ground. Uh, and dark is immune, but has less resistances. Ice, we're getting to the very bad defensive types. Ice is weak to everything. Grass even worse, rock even worse. Yep, grass is, is pretty low on, on both lists. Not surprising that it's, you know, and the absolute worst defensive type in the game is Ice Rock. You can sneeze on it and it'll die, but don't let it touch you. <laughs> and Bug Grass, of course. Ice Rock I don't think exists, does it? But Bug Grass does, and you don't see any Bug Grasses out there. Because, uh, spoiler, it's not very good offensively, and it's the second worst defensive type. Ground Rock, here you go. Number one attacking, third worst defensive type. You do see Rhyperior's in Trick Room. So let's go on to the combination scores. So these are, I take these these values, you know, that you see in, in this in these charts, and I subtract the attacking from the defensive once again because the lower the defensive is, the better the type is, and the higher the attacking value is, the better offensively it is. You end up with ground steel as number one. Pre I mean, it's just good offensively and good defensively. I'm just gonna do it for this one. Let's see how 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 good ground steel is. So offensively, number seven defensively at number 33. So you combine those and you end up with something that's better than everything else, at least with these values. Of course, you might not consider it as good as maybe Fairy Steel, uh, which is number four here, because it is weak to the common ground, the common fighting, the common fire, and pretty much everything, and OU and, and singles and doubles, but it resists everything else and it has attacks with ground which is very good, and Steel kind of, it like, it complements ground very well. Fire Ground, which is what's the number two offensive type, it's not too bad defensively, it just has one quad weakness, so yeah, and then, like, weak to ground, right? Fairy Ground doesn't exist, Fairy Steel. Fairy Steel is the best defensive type, not too bad offensively. Let's see, it's number 66 here, it's only, like, 50 points under under the, the highest, you know, just kind of a freak show, like, Ground Rock. It's just like super duper offensive and weak defensively. Fire ground not that weak defensively. Let me see where fire ground is. I'm just curious. Number 90. Yeah. So 90 is like in the middle. So let's look at the worst types in the game. <laughs> worst of all ever is bug grass. Yep. <laughs> Poor Lee Vanny, man. Never stood a chance. Second worst is grass because grass doesn't hit anything super effectively and is just so bad defensively that it just, uh, you know, 
And somehow, somehow, you see Big Monkey with his uh, grassy terrain, click grassy glide. Maybe if you if this thing took into account that grassy terrain did one and a half damage, I think it got nerfed. I think terrains only do 1.3 damage. Yeah, it, it, grass would be much higher under grassy terrain. And uh, if you look at leaf seed, sleep powder, spore, it's just insane. <laughs> the moves that grass gets. So that's why you see grass types. So don't let this thing fool you. Bug eyes. The big snowy moth Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Bug and Ice just combine in, in the worst possible way. I guess the worst possible way is Bug Grass, but Ice is just a little bit better than Grass. Grass Psychic, Grass Ice, Dark Grass. I don't know any Grass Psychics. Are there Grass Psychics? Are there any Grass Ice? Are there Dark Grass? No, and it's probably a good thing. Now that we have numbers, we can do some, some stuff with them. This is what inspired me to make this, is I wanted to create the perfect team. So how do we do that? What if I do this whole thing, get the number one type. So let's say that ground, ground steel, since ground is super effective against electric, let's make everything else. When I run this calculation again, everything's gonna have half that offensive value against electric. Does that make sense? So next time I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be much less likely to value ground types is highly since the offensive value against electric is, is kind of divided by two then i run this whole calculation again and i get you know and, and i do that defensively too like for example ground steel is is weak to ground so let's make it so that ground deals four times damage instead of two to everything and it deals double damage to things it's strong against that way it'll uh, when i run this calculation it's more likely to pick something that resists ground and more likely to pick something that uh super effective against what ground steel is weak to so ground steel would be resisted by electric flying and it is weak to ground so when i run this again i should get something at number one that is um yeah something that's strong against steel flying and something that resists ground at least so what do we get electric flying wow amazing it's like almost like this thing works so yeah electric flying immune to, to ground Super effective against metal flying. And let's just go on with this, go on with the math here. What do we get next time? Fairy water, also a very good type. What do we get next time? Ghost normal. Again, dark ghost, the sixth time. Dragon steel, the seventh time for the hell of it. Fire grass. Wow, a grass type. I never thought I'd see the day. There's this little uh, thing on Maryland uh, where you can uh, pick your types and you can see what they're strong against, weak against. So let's see if this thing actually made a good team with strong resistances and not very many weaknesses, or at least weaknesses that cover for each other. Uh, this thing's only defensively. It doesn't take the offensive values into account. So Excadrill, of course, you can see a lot of resistances, best typing in the game. Thunderous, number two, it pretty much covers, you can see like here, weak to fighting, resist fighting. Weak to ground, immune to ground. Doesn't fix everything, still weak to fire and water, but the next time it will probably take care of those. Ah, fairy water. Takes care of the fire water weakness, takes care of the ice weakness. There you have it. No more weaknesses on the team. Next up is ghost normal, and then dark ghost, and then dragon steel. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. If you watched this far, you're a big nerd like me. If you like this video, uh, drop a like, drop a follow, leave a message on the boards. At 5 likes, I'll make a sequel to this, and I'll include Terrestrialize. Don't you want to know what the best Terra type is for every type? Like and subscribe already! If you want to play around with the Excel sheet that I was showing, the link to it is in the description. I'll drop you off with some AI-generated Pokemon that I thought were pretty cool. That's it. See ya!